were not our hearts burning within us. During these holy days of Easter, I believe that in a special way, the mercy and grace and love of Jesus Christ is poured out on this world for each of us. During these holy days of Paschal joy, if we will pause, if we will be quiet in our hearts and discern the presence of God, we too will feel our hearts burning within us, for we will begin to recognize that the resurrected Jesus Christ walks with us and breaks bread for us. In today's Gospel reading, we meet two men who are on a journey. They are going from Jerusalem to Emmaus. It could very well be that they're traveling because they've lost heart in who they believed Jesus was. You see, these two men, or perhaps Cleopas the man and a woman, had walked with Jesus. They had seen Jesus teach. They had heard his words. They had gazed upon his holy face. But now they're scared. Jesus has been crucified and buried. There are claims that he is resurrected from the dead, but Cleopas and his companion are not so sure. And perhaps out of safety and out of concern, they've decided to leave Jerusalem. And travel to Emmaus. Well, on their journey, a man comes along, and the scripture tells us that they could not discern that it was Jesus. As I thought on this scripture today, I could not help but chuckle in my heart a little bit and wonder if perhaps Jesus was wearing a face mask, as we see all around us in this days. Probably not, and yet for some reason Cleopas and his friend did not notice that the very man who walked and talked to them was the one who died on the cross, the very same one who they had buried. As they walk, they tell Jesus, they don't know who he is, but they tell him all about the amazing things that Jesus has done and how he has died and been placed in the tomb. And Jesus says to them, Oh, how foolish. You see, it's very difficult for us as believers to sometimes take Christ at his word. Christ, on more than one occasion, had told these followers that he would die and be resurrected, that the temple would be destroyed and restored. But the followers of Jesus could not begin to wrap their minds around the fact that Christ would bodily rise from the dead. And so Jesus begins to explain to them the scriptures and the words of the teaching. And still, Cleopas and his follower are not sure. Then they invite Jesus to their house for dinner. And it's at this moment that their eyes are opened. For Jesus, just on the night of the Last Supper, took up bread, he blessed it, and he broke it. And the scriptures tell us that in that very moment, their eyes were opened and they beheld the resurrected Christ. For you and I this Easter season, we may find it difficult to discern that the resurrected Christ is with us. We may find it difficult to know that he walks beside us. And this is why Christ has given us a lasting memorial of his death and resurrection, a lasting memorial of his body and blood, the Most Holy Eucharist. Today, during the Mass, in just a few minutes, you will bear witness as I will lift up bread. It will be broken, and we will recognize that the risen Christ is with us. For lo, he is with us until the end of the ages. But it does not end there. Once we have been given the gift and the blessing of knowing that Christ is risen, that Christ loves us, that Christ walks beside us, that Christ feeds us with his own flesh and blood, then we are to go forth to Christ's other followers and to share the good news to all the world. Alleluia, alleluia, Christ is risen. 
Indeed, he is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Yes, sometimes it's difficult. But if we will gaze upon the sacred hosts, we will see our resurrected Lord. And then full of the strength and determination and the blessing of God Almighty, we will go forth to declare Christ's resurrection to all the world. Amen.